Lahore is Pakistan's second largest city, but its chaotic urban sprawl isn't where you'd expect to find the king of the jungle. Big cats like lions and white tigers can be found in cages on the roofs of buildings. Here, four big cats live all year round in these tiny enclosures. This four-month-old lion is Hamza Shubari's latest purchase. He's a 24-year-old business student. She's just playing. She doesn't bite. Dog bites hurt more than this. I've always kept pets, dogs, cats, and then one day a friend bought a lion and that made me want to get one too. The first one I bought is from Africa and is a sandy color. Then I liked it so much I got another one, a white lion this time. Each lion cost him around 4,000 euros. Hamza bought them with a friend who's also a student and lives in one of the apartments below in the building. They put all of their savings into buying the animals. The building's caretaker is the one who looks after the lions. And even if he looks relaxed, he's not entirely confident. Wanting to tame wild lions or tigers is the latest trend in Pakistan. Here, politicians often use the image of a lion in their campaign posters. The animal symbolizes power, wealth and celebrity. Hassan Siddiqui and his lion Simba were featured in a reality TV show. The lion was shown off like a trophy. It was brushed, taken for walks, and even went on a joyride. His owner says he's become more than just a simple pet. He's like a member of my family. He stays with me in my bedroom. We met Hassan in the suburbs of Karachi in his luxurious property. This is where Simba lives. The animal seems totally domesticated. Simba, give me a kiss. Are you angry with me? Come on, Simba, eat. This businessman takes advantage of his notoriety to earn a lot of money in the industry of importing big cats. It's a flourishing sector. In Karachi alone, there are more than 300 wild animals owned by private citizens. It's a profitable business if you manage it right. You have to look after the animals, love them, and give them the space they need to live, big cages and food. You have to look after them, give them medicine if they become ill. Simba leads a relatively cushy life. But in many cases, the animals are kept in appalling conditions. But the authorities look the other way when it comes to this illegal trade. There is almost no regulation. According to the director of this organization for the protection of animals, owning a big cat in Pakistan is, however, completely illegal. The legality exists that you can have animals in private zoos. But the, the, the definition of the zoo is so strict that you cannot declare your home a zoo. Any animal that exists outside its natural environment is a torture, is cruelty to animals. Most of these animals come from Africa or Siberia and enter Pakistan only with a certificate from their country of origin. According to some Pakistani sellers, a big cat can be delivered anywhere in the country in less than 48 hours.